what's going on YouTube? Today's video is going to be on my new pool cue. I ordered the Predator Limited Edition True Splice 16 Coco Bolo Q with the Revo 12.9 and this is what it came with. It came with a 2x2 two two, um, pool cue case and as you can see this is the case itself. I was surprised how big this pocket is but this is where your jump cue would go and it had one for your chalk so it doesn't get all messy. This is a pretty big pocket itself. And then it comes with, like I said earlier, the two by two. That means it holds two shafts and two butts. And this is the backpack style, meaning you have two straps and you can wear it like a backpack. And of course, when you order a Revo, Revo shaft, it comes in this package. It comes with um, like a case of your instructions, some stickers, the, the um, a cloth and of course your wipes to maintain your the shaft itself and it also comes with a bag for the cue case but let's go ahead and talk about this 16 points first time predator has attempted to do it and actually did a very good job it comes with nice uh, leather wrap and it's a uh, real leather and one thing i like about it of course you can add your Extension, I ordered an extra bumper so I can add my extensions and it'll just fit perfectly in there. And it comes with uh, aluminum radio pin. And these joints is actually ivory. And I like how it looks. It looks a lot cleaner, it looks all white. And you can tell these are the ivory points also. It makes with this black, it makes it look it makes it looks like the the point is the points are uh, floating. It doesn't look all blended like how the ebony one looks like. It all looks all mashed up. I didn't like that at all. That's why I ordered the Coco Bolo wood. And you can see how it, how the points are real sharp and how, how defined they are, when it would, especially with this black. And if you look closely, this black is actually, it looks like wood to me. So I could be, um, I could be wrong, it could be synthetic, but it looks like wood and actually makes it nice and um, distinguished and having a nice sharp points everywhere. So let's go ahead, weigh the cue and look at the cue itself and see how, how, it, how it feels and how it sounds. Let's go ahead, weigh the cue and I got all the weights out of the cue itself. So let's go ahead and do it with the rubber bumper itself and see how much that would weigh. And as you can see, it is 14.75 ounces. When you add the bumper where you can add an extension, it makes it to 14.90 ounces. And let's go ahead and weigh the shaft. This one is the 12.9. And the shaft comes in at 3.95 ounces. So together with the Q, the way I would be playing with it, it becomes at 18.85 ounces. I got the Revo 12.9 made it with the Q itself. And this is the white bolt plate with the Kumui clear black. And this is a hard tip. I don't really like mediums or soft tip. But let's go here, the Q itself, when I hit the ball. So compared to my old Q, my old Predator, you can't really tell anything with the joint since this is synthetic versus the wood. And of course, having the hard tip, you always hear that thud sound. But I have to get some time getting used to it because it's a lot slimmer because on my old one, I had the epoxy and this is a little bit slimmer. But for having the aluminum pin, I also had an aluminum pin. I couldn't tell any difference between a stainless steel and a G10. All it did was change the weight. So they had to do something with the weights because this is actually a little bit heavier and it's uh, front heavy even with without the Revo shaft. So it's actually front heavy and this is supposed to be an aluminum pin. And if you notice when I had the aluminum pins on uh, my other videos, they weigh about half an ounce. So having a stainless steel, they weigh about an ounce and a half. So it took, I don't know where they added the weight and how they got a little bit heavier because this must be a maple core also inside. 
But I'm satisfied with this queue. I really like it. I like how the looks, the looks of it. And hopefully this queue will actually make me shoot a lot better. I did a brief review on my new Predator Pull queue. Hopefully this video was informative. Also, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and then leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. I just wanna show you an update on my queue. This is what I did. I did a stack leather wrap and I flushed it all the way through the queue, as you can see. Also, it goes through the joint. I put a CA coat on it, so the, it's a flush on the joint. The wrap to the queue itself is flush, so it feel, feels like a wrapless queue now. Feel it here, all the way through. And of course, I put my YouTube channel over there. So this is just an update. I had this on a video, but I messed it up. So I'm gonna be doing it on another queue, how I do a stacked leather. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget to thumbs up. Bye bye. <laughs>